Well, hey guys, welcome to Bowhunting Soul. Okay, another beautiful day here. Uh, late summer, actually, it's uh, middle of August. Uh, looking forward to hunting season. Just out again today with this Browning Explorer 1 um, recurve. 56 inch bow. I'll probably try and link uh, the actual review I did on this bow. Um, point of this video really is to uh, just kind of tell you that, you know, just because you see a lot of guys out there with uh, like custom bows, um, you know, expensive equipment, brand new equipment, uh, super high end, uh, you know, arrows and bows and broadheads and all that stuff, doesn't mean you can't get out here with like a cheaper setup and, and come out here. So I've uh, done a lot of plenty of videos on, um, you know, like a Sam Sage or, uh, you know, the black hunter or one of the very, you know, variations, uh, you know, thereof or whatever. And, you know, you can be out hunting, you can be out in the woods, you can be out hunting, shooting archery, whatever, um, without having to have any of that expensive stuff, honestly. This bow, I was actually gifted, okay? This was a free bow by a friend. She found it in her basement. Um, the arrows, of course, paid for. These were made by uh, uh, Mindy Gibson, St. Lawrence Traditional. But I mean, uh, and, the, and these are wood. They actually fly well out of here. They're actually a little bit stiff. I need a little bit stiffer points. But my point of this video is that you don't necessarily need, you know, any of this high-end stuff. You can have a hand-me-down bow. You can buy a cheap bow. You can buy, you know, relatively cheap. Don't cheap out too much on your arrows because, you know, you want th them to have integrity. You don't want them blowing up and like putting splinters in your arms and stuff like that. But just because you, you know, you inherit something or you buy something cheap, Get out, get out and shoot, get out and shoot. It's all, you know, all kinds of fun out here. You don't necessarily need uh, the latest and greatest to either get into the sport or be hunting or or what have you, right? Again, a free bow, right? This is a free bow that's in excellent condition, by the way. Um, but um, yeah, just having out, fun out here tuning. These arrows really didn't fly very well out of any other bow that I have. They're a little bit, too, they're a little too stiff out of this one too. Um, and I need, I need, uh, Probably like 190 grain tips or maybe like uh, do some of those woody weight adapters or something like that. But um, anyway, that's it. I just want to do like a really quick little video on this and uh, I'll reset you up just a little bit with a different camera angle here and it'll take some shots. All right, so we're only about, I don't know, 13, 14 yards, something like that. Like I said, these fly just a little bit stiff, but if I actually pull all the way through um, and expand as, as much as I, as I can, as I really should be, it puts a little more energy into the arrow straightens out a little bit, but um, we'll fix that. But it doesn't mean you can't be out here having fun. Let's, let's watch a few shots. Ooh, that was nice. I don't know if you saw that, it flew just a tad stiff. We'll do one more. All right, just a tad high. Let's go take a look at it. Actually, that's not too bad. Better, better. There we go. And again, that's uh, like I said, that was like I don't know, 13, 14 yards, not much, but you know, plenty close enough, um, you know, to be able to hunt with. I mean, that is a. I don't know. I kind of given up on like like measuring groups. I mean, it's probably about like a two inch group, maybe something like that. Uh, out of uh, again, not perfectly tuned arrows, but um, I mean, that certainly certainly do the job, right? So. These woodies are cool. If you want to get into the wood arrow thing, fine. They're a little more expensive, obviously. You can buy um, much cheaper carbons if you want to get into the sport. You know, carbons are going to be a whole lot cheaper. Unless, you know, you go find like a garage sale or something like that. And you got a garage sale fine with, you know, uh, an older bow like this. Um, or, you know, go the Amazon route, like I said, with, uh, you know, the Black Hunter or Sam Sage or something like that. I mean, just get into it. So it's a beautiful day, right? Not too humid today for a change. It's awesome. Um, and... You know, uh, if you pick up the bow like now, you know, I'm doing this in, in, in like August, you may not necessarily be ready for hunting season come September, right? You probably won't be actually, but that doesn't mean that you can't, you know, buy this type of stuff and start practicing with it and, you know, make the switch. Oops, I don't want to break any of these. Make the switch or, uh, uh, you know, get into the sport and just, you know, start, start, start learning, start shooting, start having fun. So that's it. All right. So look out for 
every now and then you still see like people post like, hey, I found this at a garage sale for like 50 bucks and it's like some awesome older bear or something like that. Um, they do exist. I've never come across one, uh, but you know, you might find like older arrows or something like that. Uh, make sure that they have integrity, right? I mean, ask someone who knows what they're doing, like flex them and stuff, see if they're good. Uh, you know, you can find them in, uh, you know, archery shops um, that have this stuff kind of sitting around. If people aren't shooting traditional anymore, everyone's moved on to like $2,000 carbon compounds, right? Um, well, you know, more better for you, right? You get, you get kind of cheaper stuff, you get older stuff, but um, you know, it'll get you in the game. So that's it. I didn't want to make this video super, super long, but you know, find something like this. Have fun. Go shoot. Go hunt. Okay. All right. That's it. Hope you guys have a great season coming up. Uh, mine starts in about a month. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Listen to the podcast. And um, yeah, appreciate all your comments. Thanks.